Hey guys, and welcome back to week 19. Hey, we're Harry and Nikki. We're 22 and 21 years old. And in November 2020, we bought a 17-seater Ford Transit minibus, which we're currently converting into our tiny home on wheels. Our aim is to travel around Europe as soon as the pandemic allows. We have documented our whole camp van conversion process so far, so keep watching to see what we've done this week. So as many of you know, we didn't post a video last week because we didn't manage to get too much done in a particular area. But what we managed to do is we managed to install our slide out table, <laughs> as you can see. So to do this, we bought a £10 worktop from Ikea, which should be popping up on your screen now. Which we, for a desk, isn't it? Yeah, it's for a desk. But we obviously thought that was such a bargain because we were looking at spending 30, 40 quid. We managed to just spend a tenner on it. So to make it look nice, we then cut to size our 18 by 44 timber struts, wood stained them and put them on the end. So as you can see, it looks nice. Yeah, we're really happy with that, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're pretty chuffed with it. We um, installed some runners onto the both sides of the walls and we bought 550 millimeter long runners, which were a little bit too short. So that's why it juts out a little bit, but kind of doesn't bother us enough to change it. But if we were doing it again, we'd probably get 650 millimeter long runners. Yeah. So also guys, we have reinstalled our 240 volt Krieger inverter, because as you guys saw from the first video, which we'll show you a clip of now, we installed it but unfortunately it didn't work the first time. So there's gonna be a quick snippet now of just how we installed that in case you guys were wondering how to install your inverter, but the link to the video is gonna be in the description below. All right guys, so we got a Krieger 1100 watt inverter for our van. Um, it just comes with two terminals on the end, a positive and a negative, it's super easy to use. So to wire up our inverter, we used the 16 millimeter cable that came with the inverter wired up the negative straight to the battery. Negative port, we used our earthing cable, we earthed it to the chassis of our van through there. It's all a bit of a mess right now. And we used the positive through the fuse breaker they sent us and wired it up to the battery. So it's really simple to wire up our inverter. So literally all we did was we installed our inverter correctly this time, and made sure it was working and just plugged in the plug that came with the fridge into the side of the inverter, which has a um, three pin plug on it and it works perfectly. And as you can see now, our fridge is nice and cold. Yeah, it's running and the battery is still completely full and it's a little bit overcast right now, so that's really good. As in, the solar panels are still working really well. <laughs> Amazing. So, for this week's video, we're gonna get a nice bookshelf on the way, we're going to install some 240 volt plugs and we're gonna see what else happens. Yeah. So, to start building our bookshelf, we measured out two 32 by 32 timber struts that would fit horizontally into the space we have planned for our bookshelf to go. We cut these using our circular saw and moved on to marking out the 9mm plywood base for our shelf. We made sure there was enough room for a standard size book and a couple extra centimetres for one of our timber struts to be screwed into. We jigsawed the plywood out, sanded it down and Nikki got on wood staining both the plywood and two timber struts. Now we're about to put our struts here that we've just wood stained, as you would have seen. Um, Pre-drill it and screw it in and then attach the plywood to it and we'll talk you through it as we go. So we drilled the first timber strut into the wall and then took our plywood cut out and placed it in on top of the strut, drilling screws down into it to secure it. Then we secured the second strut on top of the plywood on the outer part of the bookshelf and screwed up into it from the plywood up into the strut. Then we moved on to wiring up our 230 volt double socket. To explain it simply, all we did was make some form of extension lead that goes from the socket in the inverter to the double plug socket that we will secure into our van. To do this, we needed four items, a 13 amp plug, a double socket, a back box, and a three core wire, which is 2.5 millimeters thick. The first step was to wire up the plug. This is relatively simple, and you can find an easy video on YouTube to help you do this. Then we threaded the other end of a wire through a back box, which will later help the socket to be stable when it is screwed into the cladding. Then we just wired up the three wires into the back of the double 30 amp socket we bought. And that was our extension cable done. We then cut a hole in the cladding, 
for where we wanted the double socket to go. We placed the back box into this hole and reattached the cladding. Then we screwed the double socket into place. Okay, so we've just plugged our plug socket into the inverter and now it's the moment of truth. Dum, dum, dum. So I'm gonna plug my phone charger in and just see if it turns on basically. So I put it in, plugging it in and then I turn it on. Ready? Go. Yay! Nice. Works. Nice. Okay guys, so it's Wednesday today and today we are going to add another coat of paint to our cladding. Uh, this is because cladding expands and contracts and wood just changes shapes all the time in the heat and the cold. So there's lots of little cracks that have appeared as you can see now. So we're just going to go ahead and wood fill some of the bigger gaps and then sand the wood fill and then paint the whole van. So uh, a bit of a long day today but we're going to power on with that. Let's try it here first. So we firstly removed our seat cushions so they wouldn't get paint on them and we started to wood fill any big gaps that the cladding had made. We bought our wood filler from Poundland and it worked really well. We ended up just using our fingers to wood fill the gaps and wiped off the excess with a paper towel. Then we painted one coat of fast drying Leyland Brilliant white paint onto all of the cladding. Okay guys, so it is Thursday today and yesterday unfortunately our camera died as we were doing all of our repainting. Um, but as you can see, we used some Poundland wood fill and filled in all of the cracks and then went over it with our white, brilliant white Leyland paint. And this is what it looks like now, so it looks kind of clean and fresh again. Um, but yeah, today our plan is to fix up this step area as you come into the van. So we've got, we're going to put some wood trim over here we think, which is similar to the trim we've used on our wall, which is... 18 by 44 I think millimeter timber struts our plan is to get yeah this strut done and maybe get a rug from a pound land or somewhere tomorrow Ooh. Um, to put on the doorway so that's exciting cool let's get on with it then let's get some jobs done what's there to say there's nothing but space in between you and I Okay that we change, but it feels kind of strange that you're not in my life. You're the only okay guys, so we've just got our little wooden struts in and what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna wood stain them with some Ron Seal natural oak wood stain, which we've used in the rest of our van. And Nikki is going to wash all of this step down and then we're gonna spray paint it with some black spray paint that we got from Poundland. Because we're bargain. Kings and queens. We got to say queens. Oh, <laughs> bargain queen, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Cool, let's do it. One more time. One more time. One more time. I should have told you that I loved you every night. Oh, that's on my mind. I should have told you that I loved you. One more time. One more time. To secure these battens in place, we pre-drilled and used some 50mm long drywall screws through the plywood floor and into the battens. that's it for this week guys thank you so much for watching make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel next week we're basically as you can see we're almost finished so next week is all about ticking off the little last jobs we've got to do so make sure you stick around for that 
and make sure you follow our Instagram at The Ambitious Project where you can see pictures like this, this and this. So we will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Well, Jason would tell you to go diagonally. Jason would, wouldn't he? Jason's not fucking here. <gasps>to Jason. Yeah, listen to Jason. <laughs> no. Say hello, say what do we do? Hello, we put bookshelf up here and we screw screw down into little struts. Okay. And... Oh, let's go in! Yeah. No. Higher, higher. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks,